Between scene, January 2022. Abstract finger painting. Hi, tweens. Today, you can paint using acrylic paints. Uh, in your kit, you'll find an 8x10, some white paint, maybe in a tube or a little container, um, and eight different colored paints. They may be different from the ones I'm showing here. You will also have um, a foam brush. Let's see, where's my brush? Here we go, foam brush. Now you can paint whatever you want, but I'll show you a fun tip. Um, to open your paint tubes, you're going to use the little pokey thing at the top of the cover reverse it, and then you'll see your paint come out. Now, for the type of painting I want to do, I'm going to prep my canvas by putting a layer of white paint using my foam brush everywhere. I'm just going to put a nice thick layer. It doesn't have to be even. And remember, you don't have to do this. You can use your paint any way you want, especially since it's abstract. But I thought this looked cool. It was a pretty neat technique. So start by putting white paint everywhere. Might need a little more to get into some of the corners. And for the rest of this craft, I'm going to use finger. I'm going to finger paint. So uh, when I'm done with this, I can clean my brush, save it for some other time. Make sure I've got coverage everywhere. Like I said, it doesn't need to be even, and for this technique, it may even look better if it's going to thicken some spots and thinner in others. You'll see. All right. Now, I'm going to use different colors of paint and putting them up along one side, globs along one side, and then down the other. So it'll make like an L-shaped pattern, leaving a little bit of space uh, in the corner. So I'm going to start with some red. And I, so it's going to go down and across, uh, or up and across. And I want them to be kind of opposite each other. So I'm going to put red up top and one down below. And I'm going to kind of do rainbow order. So I'm going to start with or next with orange. And again, for this technique, it's better if they're kind of in a circular blob when you put it out, rather than in a line, as you'll see when I do mine. The circles come out a little bit better. Some yellow. Some green. I didn't have exactly rainbow shades, so I'm kind of just putting them in what the rainbow order would be. So this is aquamarine, which is kind of a blue-green. This is acid blue. Now, for this craft, I broke up different color kits, so you may not have exactly the same colors I have. Let's see, I'm going to do dark blue and then purple. And I want to make sure that I'm trying to keep them in more or less in a line. Purple. All right, now's the fun part. I'm going to go up and then over, back and forth. So I'm going to go up and then across. And I'm not washing my hands in between so that the paint gets all mixed up. Across. Up and across. And then up and across. And then up and across. Up. 
across. It makes a kind of neat basket weave pattern to it. Oh, and then across. And I got a little more space there, so I'm going to do another daub of uh, red, I think, since that's kind of the other end. up and there you go see it looks nice and thick in some parts and thin in others it's blended a little with the white it's kind of funky basket weave um, and because it's thick you're going to need it want to let it dry for at least a day uh, I think I'm going to sign it with a thumbprint in the blank corner so I'm going to put some blue paint on my thumb But you can sign it with, you know, marker or pen when it's dry if you want. But I think a thumb, thumbprint would be kind of cool. So I'm just going to kind of put that there. There we go. And there's your abstract art. Hope you have fun, tweens. Enjoy finger painting. <laughs>